What's up guys, Brian here, and today we're taking a look at the top 8 matches from the character tournament. Uh, a quick key recap of the rules in case you forgot or hadn't watched the uh, the first video. Uh, we were using a custom ban list, uh, the if, you know, trying to prevent a lot of the degenerate strategies like Link Cross, Aurora Dawn, uh, Eldritch getting you know, splashed into everything. Um, and we also had the requirement that 40% of the deck needed to have the character's archetype in it. Uh, so in a standard 55-card uh, deck, main deck and extra deck included, 22 of those cards needed to be from the character's archetype. Uh, the idea is that if you were to take one of these characters and say, hey, go compete in a YCS, this is what they would build. Uh, so if you look here, we have the uh, the top eight matches. Um, so let's jump right into the uh, the top left one with Tyranno versus Soulburner. All right, game number one, starting off with Tyranno, uh, played by Kitsunebula. Plays set rotation to get out the uh, diagram, destroying the baby Cerasaurus to somehow Oviraptor. Oviraptor does some uh, some juggling with the two babies. The destroyed baby brings out the Pterodon, and then the Lithogasm pops both of those to uh, really uh, attack the extra deck there. Miscellaneousaurus and Oviraptor go into Dolka. Miscellaneousaurus brings out the Archosaur, searching out Ultra Evolution, Anchor Tops, Link Rubo, Dagda, and then ending on the Ulti Tyranno. Um, I don't, I don't know what these guys can do. Um, <laughs> circle for the attempted search. Desires, and then the uh, the ogre stops that, and he scoops it up. Game number two, our solid player decides to go first. Parallel exceed off the uh, the bailings summon, and then go into uh, what plan B? And it's a stalemate doing five hundred damage still uh, still waiting it out ends up going with evenly matched to kind of take out some of the uh, the cards on the field and the draw of the mind control is able to take Baguska put him in attack mode and then start doing dino stuff even though that uh, fossil dig is ashed he still has the set rotation to get out diagram and pop the uh, the, the pterodon Pterodon? Ter Pterodonian? I don't know. Anyway, that brings out Oviraptor, which gets all his plays going with uh, popping the baby, summoning the Pterodon, baby, Lithogasm, destroy the extra deck, <laughs> and then get both of their floating effects off. Pop that last back row with Phoenix. have Miscellaneousaurus summon out the Archosaur, which searches out the uh, Evolution Pill. Oh, that's a very uh, similar board. Uh, it's just attack for game. Broke. Alright, this next match is uh, me versus Yui. Uh, my Valentine versus Anna Kaboom. I believe... Uh, I don't remember if he's... I think I won the dice roll, so I made him go first, and I was able to ash the dozer, which stopped his plays in his tracks. However, he has the uh, the two background I did not open particularly well. Uh, one thing I noticed is that the Harpies does lose really hard to... Uh, something like spell or trap negation so infinite impermanence and the chalice both uh really do a number on me he's able to pop the uh the continuous spell so that i can float into something more useful on the attack and uh my top decks are particularly bad now at this point maybe the only thing I could top deck at this point is a uh, um, the Harpy that searches out a Egotist, which I did not. So I just scoop it up and go to game two. Game number two, I open a lot better. Um, 
I decide to go first because he has, you know, crazy, uh... Uh, yeah, I guess I, I opted to go first so I could bring out the uh, the, the barrier statue, the wind barrier statue. Um, if he had infinite impermanence to my Chandler at the very beginning, I would have been completely dead in the water and had no follow up play whatsoever. Um, however, I'm able to make some morgue and summon the barrier statue, so that kind of prevents a lot of his plays. He can't kaiju me, can't do much. Unfortunately, he does have that monster reborn to bring back the, uh, the perfumer. Um, not super happy about that. He kaijued my Samorg, so my Feather Storm was still alive because I had a Harpy on board. He would have clear his board, but he does have the urgent schedule set, so he's able to summon two monsters from the deck. His uh, Ancient Gear at Link, destroying his uh, Kaiju. And he does have that skill drain set, so I don't get my Chandler search off, and unfortunately I did draw the double or nothing off of the uh, Feather's Rest earlier. So I go into uh, 39 just because it's a 2500 attack. And at this point all I need to do is top deck a monster, and, uh, and that's game. Alright, game number three. He makes me go first, search out Egotist, normal summon a Harpy, and search out another Harpy, summon another Harpy. Um, at this point, I have the uh, the D barrier, and what I should have done is activate it right here. I missed my activation condition, condition uh, window, I guess. I missed my activation window, and he was able to uh, to get a XE out, um, and that uh, kind of seals the deal. Uh, he has the Chalice, and I think he might have a, a couple other... And negates set as well, so there's really nothing I can I can do. He's able to just if I had been able to get the D barrier out, I might have gotten the Exiton Knight off, which would have been awesome to be able to uh, resolve the hysteric sign. But alas, it was not meant to be. All right, the next match is Yuya versus Zane. Uh, Jurassic playing against Simon Says. Jurassic goes first and opens up the uh, the core machine duplication. Must be nice. Going into Riverstorm to search out his uh, VFD engine. Searching out Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier summons itself, searches another Galaxy Soldier. Instant Fusion to summon the Panzer Dragon, overlaying Nova. Nova brings back the Cyber Dragon. And then now he can go into his uh, his <laughs> calamities play. Riverstorm comes back by popping the gadget, and then that's game, pretty much. He's got the Cyber Dragon Infinity Negate, and he's got the calamities preventing all monster effects. Pendulum Call does search out some scales, and Chronograph is able to summon a uh, Time Gazer. Alliance is sort of trap calf, but I mean, I I guess you could do that, but. He just sets up, walls up, tries to uh, tries to bait out some stuff, but Cyber Dragon Infinity is able to negate the trap. And then make another Cyber Dragon Infinity after summoning back the Cyber Dragon with Nova. Ah, oh, not quite game. But pretty close. Top decking in uh, pendulums, staring down two Cyber Dragon infinities? Yeah, not gonna happen. Alright, Simon decides to go first. He has that uh, Magician Souls to send Master of en the Endymion. Tries to get his search off, but Infinite Impermanence comes down. Good thing he opened that Pendulum Call. Completes the scales, and Pendulum summons a bunch of monsters. Serene bringing back the, uh, the Endymion, and then immediately overlaying into Absolute Dragon, Absolute Flips into Vortex. So he's got an Appaloosa Negate and a Vortex. Unfortunately, Jurassic has a Kaiju. And the Chimera Tech, uh, getting rid of the Appaloosa without activating any monster effects. And from here, he's pretty much free to do whatever he wants. Overlaying the Cyber Dragon Infinity, suck up the Kaiju, and attack. 
leaves him with 800 life points, but with the Unending Nightmare popping the Black Fang Magician, uh, there's nothing you can do. Alright, the next match is J Voids versus Frozen Lava Reflector. J Voids is playing Ghost Girl, and Frozen Lava Reflector is playing again, uh, playing Revolver. So this is your uh, your Vrains anime matchup. J Voids went first and plays the uh, Anti Spell Fragrance. That really doesn't do at, at all anything against this deck. It's all monster effects, uh, and he does have the Ash for the spoofing, and J Voids is. Uh, Hoping he can't summon enough to go for game. Does have that Solemn Judgment set though, so he wants to activate that at the opportune moment. LP and Pitsy summoning out all of the dragons. Dr. Red comes down. And he goes into Boral Sword. So that's where he stops the Boral Sword, but he does have that Levineer as a backup play, and that's game. Looks like Javoid sided in a bunch of evenly matched and decides to go first. Wow, he opened up that anti-spell again. Still literally doing nothing. Striker starts out without the uh, the boot sector launch. And J-Boys decides to degrow a random monster in the grave. I'm pretty sure he would have been better off saving it for something else. Maybe, maybe not. Eh, he scoops it up anyway. All right, that was the, uh, that was the top eight matches from the character tournament. Um, should have the... Uh, uh, what we got next? Top four, and then we'll do the uh, the finals and the uh, the third place match as well. So we have uh, have a few more to go. Uh, so stay tuned for those, and I'll see you guys next time. Wait just a moment. I can see you were about to click the subscribe button. Was I right? Tell me I was right. I was right, right? My Millennium Eye lets me see everything, including these other videos by Davy Boy. Don't be a stranger. You will always be welcome in my Toon World.